I think when I was first reading the books, like before I knew that I would be, before I even knew these would be movies, and that was, I was just excited for her to kind of come into her place as a as a leader, um, and um, to be this kind of warrior because she's she's a very reluctant hero because she's just the whole in the first movie she just wanted to save her sister and her family and then she just wanted to save herself, um, and in in the third book is when she really starts to realize the impact that she has and that she has a choice and um, to lead this fight. So that was what excited me just as a, as a reader. But I think as an actor, I was excited, I mean about that and about that change and that kind of development, but also waking up in a brand new environment in a new, in a new world, you know, when her home is gone and she just kind of is, has to rebuild herself from nothing. President Coyne and Katniss's relationship is very complicated because Katniss knows that she should trust President Coyne, um, but for whatever reason she doesn't. And, and President Coyne can see how important Katniss is to, to, the, to leading this rebellion, but um, that she's hesitant. She also doesn't believe that she actually can do it. She's you know suffering from post-traumatic stress from two games, and um, she just doesn't. Um, she doesn't know if Katniss can be something that she can actually control. Katniss and Gail have a very rich history that we've never really been able to, to explore. Um, it's always been more about Katniss and Peeta, but um, there's so much complexities between, between um, Katniss and Gail and their relationship and how that changes because before Katniss went into the games, Gail was the only person who really understood her and knew her because they grew up together. And after the games, when she came out, she and Peter were the only two people that have, have experienced that and that can really possibly understand that. So there's this whole huge part of her life that now only Peter understands and that Gail never will. Um, so it's a very interesting relationship. So it's, it's, it's nice to get to go deeper and explore more into that. And that's what's really interesting about this movie is that a lot of our old the relationships that have built over time are very different now. You know, Katniss isn't even speaking to Hamish um, because she blames him for for Peta disappearing, um, and Effie is trying to adjust to District Thirteen, which is very interesting. Um, you know, a lot of old relationships that are established that are new are growing and, and changing and are very different in this movie. And then we also have new cast members coming in that are absolutely fantastic. Um, so also forming new relationships. But something that I really loved about these books when I originally read them is that they're great and it's a fantastic story, but it's also a very important story to tell about how powerful just one voice can be. And, um, and it, it, it can be scary. It is always easier to go with the more popular vote and to follow the person in front of you. Um, it's really scary to stand up to a voice that's bigger than yours.